Hi guys, thought I'd share with you a simple little tool I've made for getting the weight off the front of these motors when you've taken them out of a toothbrush or wherever you've got them from. The actual weight is pinched in place, there's a little spot where it's been hit with something to actually crimp it onto the shaft. Now you can just try to squeeze it off you can try crushing it, and there's various things. Chances are you'll actually end up pulling the whole shaft through the motor and not getting the weight off. So I've come up with a simple little method that seems to work for me every time. I won't go through taking it out of the toothbrush first because I've already done a help file on that. So all we're going to concentrate on this time is just getting that weight off the shaft. And there's one I've taken off earlier. All I'm using is a lump of wood that I've drilled a hole in that's a good bit bigger than the actual motor itself. Um, this is a hobby knife blade, Stanley knife blade, it's got Stanley written on it. And I'm using that because it's got a handy couple of slots on it. And very simply, that slides there. goes in there so that's actually supporting the weight and the motors hanging free and then I've got a bit of a paper clip here that I've just cut a little bit off and just to make it clear so you can see I'll use my little pliers here that happens to be exactly the same size that's the shaft, or even slightly smaller. And there you go. That's punched through. And there's our motor. That's quick and simple, and I'll do a couple of close-ups of it so you can see it even easier. I'll just run through the whole process quickly. Oral B Pulsar toothbrush. Take the bottom off. Give it a good strong pull. Here's our little electric motor. It's got two wires, one red, one blue. second just to lift it up gently touch my solder iron on it that's lifted that side there. off touch my solder iron on it there we go nice and clear just pull straight out okay so now we've got our nice vibrating electric motor but if you don't want to use it as a vibrating electric motor and you want to get this weight off the end of it my little tool, slide it onto there, stick it in the hole, 